So you're going to be answering a viewer's question. The viewer's name is uh, PFM200586. Um, he actually asked this question probably a little over, well, about a month and a half ago. Uh, and uh, I wanted to help him, but really, really seems like a homework project. I don't mind teaching you guys stuff, but I'm not going to do your homework for you. But I figure by this time, if it was a homework project, it's already been due. And I thought I'd go over it with you because maybe you guys will learn something from it. But basically, let's flip over here. This is his question. Um, basically, he has file one, which has these names and phone numbers in them. And then the second file has the names in a different order with a day of the week that uh, they're on call and a time in 24-hour uh, time military time um, and he needs the output to look like this where we have the name and then some dashes uh, day then some dashes their phone number I hope that isn't real people's phone number I hope this is a school thing um, and then then the time in an a.m. p.m. format so uh, not that difficult to do a couple of lines of text gonna create some variables here um, and there might be a better way to do it but this is how I'm gonna do it so I'm going to, I, you know, when I tried this before I recorded the video, I did it all in a one-liner, which I could do again, but it might be a little difficult for you guys to read. Uh, and I'm going to have to put in a script to upload for you guys to download anyway if you want to look at it. So I'm going to go ahead and create a script. I'll just call it, um, I don't even know what to call it. I'll just call it 1.sh. Okay. Uh, no, we should give it a real name. Um, how about on call sort kind of a long name but there we go going to start off our script with our bin bash or bin uh, shib shebang line bin bash letting it know that this is a bash script and at this point um, if I didn't show you I didn't I've already created the two text files uh, if I cap both those out dot txt you can see we have one with the names and numbers and one with the names dates and times so Let's go back into our script here. And we're going to start off by catting out that first file, which was the name and uh, phone number. So cat file one dot txt, and we're going to pipe that into a while loop. It's going to be a while read loop. While, and we're going to create a variable here called line. You can call it whatever you like, but we're going to read through it line by line. And then what are we going to do? We're going to do whatever's between this do and done. First, we're going to set a variable called zero. Uh, y, which is equal to zero. This is for later on when we have to sort through the AMPM factor of this. You'll see when we get there. Next, we're going to start grabbing the name, phone, date, and time. So we're going to create a variable called name. And then name is going to equal whatever the output of the whatever command we put inside these parentheses with a dollar sign before them. So in this case, we're going to echo um, dollar sign line which is our variable right now, which should be the name and the phone number. What we're going to do is we're going to pipe that into awk. And what we're going to do is say with awk print only dollar sign one, which means the first column. Okay. And we're going to do basically the same thing for the phone number, except for in this case, we're going to echo out the line that contains the name and phone number. And we're going to grab just the second column which is going to be the phone number. So we have the name and phone number now. The other two variables, the day and time, are in, in the other file. So they're lined up with the name and this is one of the reasons why I think this is a homework project because they're all just first names and this makes it real easy because if they were um, you know, first and last names, we'd have to print column one and two to get the name. But also, you know, if you have more than one person with a name, what we're about to do is not going to work if there's two Roberts or two Michaels. But anyway, what we're going to say is we're going to say day. And if we look how the uh, second file is supposed to set up, the second column is going to be the day, and the third column is going to be the time. And what day is going to equal, it's going to be similar to the first uh, two variables, but uh, slightly different because we have to do some grepping. It's going to be the output of grep dollar sign name. Oops. So we're looking and we're finding only the lines that contain the person's name as we're looping through. 
Then we're going to say file2, because we're going to grep through file2. And then at that point, we're going to use awk to print, in this case, column 2 from the second file, which is the day of the week. I'm going to do basically the same thing for the time, except for, in this case, it will be the third column. So, grep, name, file2, text, awk, and inside single quotations there, we're going to print. Oh, don't forget our braces here. Dollar sign three. Something is wrong. I can tell you that now because of the color coding. Time should be blue. So I left something out somewhere. Huh. I know I did. So if I did uh, yeah, equals. Maybe it's just the word time. Maybe uh, vim sees time as a different type of variable. Could be a command. That might be why. We'll keep going and see if anything goes wrong with what we're doing here. So at this point, we need to figure out whether it's AM or PM. Because if you look at the two files, uh, we have like this one is 2,300 hours, 1,500 hours, 1,400 hours. So what we need to do is figure out whether, we need, whether it's AM or PM and adjust the time accordingly. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if dollar sign time is greater than 12, so if it's past noon, then we're going to set y equal to 1, which originally is equal to 0. So if it's not past noon, y will still equal 0. And each time it loops, it will be reset to 0. Then we're going to say let time, so we're resetting the time variable, equal to the variable time minus 12. So if it was 2,300 hours, we're going to subtract 12 from it and have an AM PM time. And that if statement with the backwards if, FI. Then we're going to say if y equals 0. So if it's before noon, then we're going to echo out this line, dollar sign name, dash, 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 dollar sign day, dash, 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 dollar sign phone, whoops, dash, 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 dollar sign. And this time we're going to put the, the variable inside these braces. Um, that's something you can do with all the other ones, and if you're doing this as homework, you probably should just be consistent. But the reason we're doing this is because we're going to have AM there without a space, where if we didn't have that, it wouldn't know where the variable, if it's a variable, where it's ending. So that's why we're using the squiggly brackets, or braces in this case. So, uh, so if it's before noon, it's going to print out the time with AM. Else, so if Y does not equal 0, in which case it will equal 1, which means it's afternoon, we're going to say echo basically the same thing, but we are going to change it to PM at the end. And the time has already been adjusted in this loop, so it will say the right number there. Close that if statement, and we are done. So let's go ahead, oops, save that make it executable with change mod plus x and the name of the script. Only have to do that one time. And then dot slash name of the, the script. And everything looks good. So we got the name, the date, their phone number, and then an AM PM time. Just as it should be here. So I hope that helped you out. PFM200586. Uh, I apologize if it wasn't a homework project and uh, you actually needed it for something useful. But now you know how to do it, at least one way. When it comes to programming, there's a hundred ways to do everything. So, uh, you know, if you think you have a better way of doing this, feel free to click on the first link in the uh, description to go to my WordPress page and uh, uh, write, a, uh, write a comment there. Or, or you can comment on YouTube. I just 
don't understand why people don't comment on WordPress. It's a little bit better. You can put links and stuff. Um, or And also, if you're going to post some script, post it at pastebin.com and then give us a link to it. Don't try to post it in the script in the comments. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.